Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how we can install WordPress on our domain name on Bluehost web hosting plan. So the domain name where we are going to you install WordPress is wptutorials101.com. So I have purchased this domain on Namecheap with some great discount. You can check the link in the description. I have shared few other tutorials as well. Now we have already like changed the DNS and added the domain to our Bluehost hosting cPanel okay now next what we want to do we want to create the website so to create a website in Bluehost what we have to do we have to go to this my sites option now as soon as I come to the my sites option we, I will be able to see all the websites that I have hosted on this Bluehost web hosting plan now I have purchased Bluehost choice plus plan with a great discount if you want to do that then please check out the link in the description and make sure to buy that plan for at least two to three years so that you can save huge amount of money i personally purchase hosting at least for three years so that i can save the maximum okay now in this my sites page what you have to do right side you can see this create site button just click on this create site name and site type tagline so let's provide the site name so, so i provided the site name as the domain name and tagline is and the tagline is let's say all wordpress tutorials for beginners so whatever is the website you have or the domain you have purchased as per the category you can provide the site name and the site tagline don't worry you can change these details later on also that's not a problem but right now we can provide something to continue okay now before clicking on the next button we have to make sure we need to click this advanced option now in this advanced option what will happen so by default whatever email id you have used to log into your bluehost.com domain so they will consider those things and uh, like automatically create your admin username and your admin password but that is not recommended i will say you provide uh, your specific email address you provide your specific username and then provide a very strong password and then only you click the next button okay by default you may not notice this option and click on next button so automatically internally it will take care of those things so what i'll do i'll simply provide these details as per like uh, my requirement and then i'll click on the next button so as soon as I click on the next button, I will be reaching on this particular page. Now in this page, we have to choose the domain name where exactly we want to install WordPress. So let me uh, choose the domain name. So I have selected the domain name wbtutorials101.com. So if you have only one domain in your hosting, so there will be one domain only. If there are multiples, you will see there are many other domains listed here. Okay. And the directory, uh, just keep it uh, empty only. Otherwise, what will happen? Your WordPress is not going to install on your root domain rather than particular directory, whatever you provide. Let's say if you provide here uh, uh, 123, so it will be like wptutorials101.com slash 123 slash. Within that 123 slash, the WordPress is going to install. So that is what we do not want here. And the next option by default bluehost will try to install a couple of uh, plugins because this is a optimized wordpress hosting plan so definitely bluehost will try to help you to optimize your wordpress website but right now we are going to untick them we can install them manually later on also and i will be creating more videos on those like what plugins you need how to install those plugins and different different other videos so right now we will simply untick all those options next we'll click on this next button and you can see that uh, your website is getting ready wordpress is getting installed within your domain name so just wait for a few seconds so here bluehost will help you to create the website also so what kind of website you are going to create so let's say you if you are creating a blog so they will like i think they will put some template or something and they will design that website so you can select that uh, whether if it is a store then definitely i think they will be installing some e-commerce plugin internally if it is a business they will install some business specific themes so if you want to go with this dashboard or if this ready to like uh, install things you can go ahead with that but i do not prefer this i want to like install or set up my website completely uh, in my way only so i'll simply what i'll do i'll simply skip this step okay that's it you can see that congratulations wordpress installed successfully so now uh, wordpress has been installed on my domain name and now what we can do let's open this website let's see so you can see that wordpress has been installed in our uh, domain it looks like a website but huh, there is only one page and we can see something called not secure means https or ssl certificate is not installed so that's it in this video in the next video i'm going to show you how to install ssl certificate on your domain name so that we can take the next step to complete our website so if you find this video useful feel free to like and share this video 
If you are new to my YouTube channel, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.